Today we're doing orange marinated scallops. Now this is a treat, folks. Do this, you know, if you're, you're just living alone, you got nobody to be with, do this for yourself as a treat. That's what we're going to dedicate the next four shows to, taking care of yourself. Now, number one, orange marinated scallops have to be marinated. Of course. Now, how do you marinate them? Here's your little shopping list, folks. Uh, we're going to need a little bit of some vegetable oil, about a quarter cup, a couple of teaspoons of lemon juice, uh, a couple of teaspoons of parsley, half a teaspoon of fennel seeds. Fennel, that's that little seed that's in Italian sausage. It's got a great little flavor once it's cooked in there. And a clove of garlic, which is, if you don't like garlic too much, you might want to lay back on this. And, of course, a pound of sea scallops. Now, don't get the bay scallops because they're smaller. The sea scallops, you're going to get a decent-sized scallop that once you get it cooked, doesn't turn into a pea at the end of the system. Uh, salt, pepper, lemon pepper, and an orange. That's going to help because they're orange marinated. Now, in a bowl, we combine the ingredients, starting with a quarter cup of oil, a couple of teaspoons of lemon juice. Now, I don't like to just pour that juice from the, the jar, you know, reconstituted, whatever the heck it is. I'm going to go right ahead and just squeeze it right out of the lemon there, you know, and kind of approximate. Probably, uh, eh, one lemon will give you plenty for this. We're looking for two teaspoons, tablespoons, whatever it is. Now, the other interesting thing is I'm finding, as it squirts all over <laughs> the apron, is that you have to uh, watch for the seeds, because it's filling up rapidly with seeds here, and uh, that's, uh, that's not going to be, well, yeah, what the hell, leave them in there. What the hell. What's the difference? You know what I mean? It's just a marinade. Okay, but, you know, be careful when you're bringing them out because you don't want those seeds in there. That'll be nasty. Okay, now we need a couple of teaspoons of fennel seeds after I wipe my hands from the massive amounts of lemon juice that have just sprayed upon me in the area. All right, a couple of teaspoons of the old fennel seeds. In your, oh, half a teaspoon. I'm sorry. Two teaspoons is the parsley, which I don't even have out. Give me a second here. Hey, you know, being prepared is half the battle, but me, I don't figure uh, it's going to be a long battle. So a couple of teaspoons of parsley flakes here. Yeah, that's nice like that there. I'm telling you, this is a real treat. Real treat. I mean, you know, for you, for you single guys out there, you want to impress a babe, have this baby going when she comes in. She's just going to say, wow, I didn't. I didn't think a guy that looked like you could do this. Okay, now we got two teaspoons of parsley. We need half a teaspoon fennel seeds in there, and now we need a clove or garlic. Clove of garlic. Now, you got to cut that nub off, as we've said at many past uh, fat guy shows. Cut off the nub. Get that clove all peeled very nicely there. And then uh, chop that puppy up. Chop that up real nice. Yeah, that's going to be... Oh, I can already... The, with the lemon juice wafting here, and this, this is going to be an amazing little thing. Oh, now this is a four-hour marinated, folks. So, you know, you got to do this part way ahead of time. Uh, we got uh, our clove of garlic in there. Now we need a little bit of salt and pepper. There's a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And, of course, the main ingredient, no, not the scallops, the orange. Now, this is the way you want to do this. Slice off the ends of your orange and then get rid of the label because the label does not digest well. And it also has probably got inks and stuff that one day they'll say, oops, we didn't realize that was poisonous and caused cancer. So, slice it up, nice thin slices of orange here. And we're just going to put it in just like it is. We're not going to bother to, you know. Some people could go ahead and throw orange juice in here, which actually I think I might throw a dash in besides. But I'm going to throw just the whole orange in there straight. And now you need your one pound of sea scallops. Lump them right in there very nicely. Those are fresh. Very fresh, by the way. Give this a nice little wrap around. Give it all saturated with all the stuff in there. Oh, yeah. The orange is all mixed in with this. Let's go ahead and uh, jump over here real quick and give it a shot of orange juice. Pardon me. Hi, how are you? Okay, 
go over here and we're going to throw a shot of orange juice in. That was kind of, you know, we weren't really going to do that, but I figure why not? And that's probably what you're going to figure too while you're doing this because it's going to be fabulous. Like I said, we're getting this all together for a four hour marinade. Now, uh, four to eight hours, actually, you can go with this. So you can do this in the morning and be ready when you come back from work. Okay, get this in the fridge for four hours, and then uh, we'll see you at the end of that four to eight hours. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Four hours, or there about four to eight hours. Actually, I went out, I did some work in the yard, and I came back. Now we're all set to go. So we take the old sea scallops that have been marinating in the... Uh, Fridge there four to eight hours uh, in your uh, oranges and your lemon garlic, everything in there, quarter cup oil. I told you all this already. Now, here's the fun part. We're going to make a little broil skewer pan. Take out some nice Reynolds aluminum foil. Give it a folder in half here. My dad taught me this way back. He was Mr. Foil Pan Maker. Bend up the edge on either side here like so. Okay? Now, fold it in and bend up the ends. Just like so. Alright? Now that baby, you can open it right up. And you got yourself a little drip pan for your cross skewer broilage. Throw your oven on broil. Very important. Now, skewer these babies. Make sure your hands are clean too, folks. I'm just going to throw them on uh, in this manner because of the fact that uh, uh, basically I have no other vegetables to go with this right now. But uh, you can put uh, interleave this with potatoes, a red onion, uh, some nice zucchini, all kinds of good stuff that's healthy for you that I don't go near. Uh, skewer these babies up. And we're going to put them on the broil just until they're white. All skewered. Place them right on the, the little pan there. Keeps them nice. Won't get completely uh, sticky and messed up because they're on the skewer here. You've been maintaining a consistency beyond belief. You know, unlike, unlike many of our polling places in Florida. And here we go all skewered up orange marinated scallops like I say into the broiler oh just about three minutes probably is all this is going to take you're going to see it quickly turn to a just a teeny weeny of black crust on the top when you get that little bit of black give them a turn the other side just a little bit of black throw a little paprika for color and you got it orange marinated scallops we'll see you next time on a couple of fat guys cooking show I'm Dave Greer. Thanks for coming by.